back into the thick of it, you know, 3rd of July, so it's, uh, you know, <laughs> it's going to come around very quickly. Yeah, no, the first few weeks just sort of let your hair down and, and then from there you sort of maybe sort of start thinking oh, it, it's coming. <laughs> Um, Adam, now the dust has settled on that, that semi-final, um, what's the feeling amongst the group looking back on it? It's, yeah, it's obviously tough to take, isn't it? You know, it's one point in it. It's, um, you know, it's a shame, but um, yeah, you know, the boys gave everything and, uh, you know, we just came up short on the day. Yeah, um, a lot of character and resilience in the group to get that far, I guess, uh, given the, the ups and downs of the season. Yeah, of course, you know, it's been a, a, a turbulent season um, and it's, you know, good to get there. Um, it's just a shame we couldn't, you know, obviously get to the final, um, which is obviously the, the goal. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's been a tough season, but, you know, hopefully uh, next season we'll, we'll come back stronger. Um, I guess it, it looked from the outside uh, one of the best performances of the season, so plenty to build on um, and go forward for next season. Yeah, for sure. You know, I think we're, we're in a good place. Um, and we can only improve from there. Um, I say every, the, the boys gave everything. You know, we we, sh we showed we we're tough, resilient, and, and uh, 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 but you know, unfortunately, that it, it wasn't enough on, on the day. Um, personally, how, how do you feel the season has gone? Um, players, player of the year. That that must be a, mean a lot to you. Yeah, of course. You know, it's it's a great honour to get that. It's you know, obviously for the, the players to vote that is you know, it's very it's, it's very special uh, and it means a lot. Um, it means a lot to me. It's. It's you know very important, so it's uh, you know I've enjoyed the season and you know it's been good and as I say hopefully next season we we, we push on and, and get to the finals. Now you're all about to head off for the summer. Um, has Matt O'Connor given you goals? Had a, had a chat with you before you head off? Uh, yeah, we've had a chat. You know nothing nothing too uh, too serious. It's uh, you know obviously we're expected to know what to, to do with ourselves now. Um, but yeah, you know it's nice to have a bit of downtime. You know time away, enjoy ourselves, and then back into the thick of it, you know, 3rd of July, so it's, uh, you know, it's going to come around very quickly. What are your plans? Uh, I've got a few holidays booked, uh, a few few with friends and, and with a girlfriend, so uh, looking forward to that, you know, just some downtime, rest up and uh, just enjoy that. Do you have summer with one eye on pre-season or do you just go for it? I try not to, but uh, it's it's hard not to have one eye on pre-season. Um, but, yeah, no, the first few weeks just sort of let your hair down and, and then from there you sort of maybe sort of start thinking oh, it, it's coming <laughs> and at what point do you start setting goals for next season or, or at all if at all um, I think you, you have to have that time away I mean for me just to have no rugby you know not think about rugby for five weeks is mentally what what is needed and you know then come pre-season you know obviously sit down with the coaches sit down as a group and then and then we discuss things from there so is it the body or the mind that needs recharging more? i think it's both you know it's you know it's a physical game now and it's it's a long season as well so it's it's definitely both and a chance to eat and drink what you like <laughs> that's it, exactly really make the most of it so yeah <laughs> thanks adam cheers mate For all the great videos, keep watching LTTV.